accessing AWS can be done usually in three ways. The console, which we've shown you. We're going to show you the SDK in a future video. The CLI is where a lot of people, especially from a server background, feel most comfortable. So if you Google AWS CLI, you'll get some interesting things for S3. There's actually two. There's, it's the same CLI, but two interfaces. When you Google, you'll often do things like AWS S3 CLI or Lambda CLI, and it'll take you to the documentation for those particular services. And that's fine, but S3 actually gives you two, and it can be confusing for beginners. So I just want to point out that S3 itself is really just for doing the low-level things like copying files from your local machine to your bucket or moving files or removing files, or even the most famous is sync, if you're familiar with like FTP. Most of what we're interested in is actually not S3. We're interested in the S3 API. It's just a separate way to do S3, and it's very congruent with every other type of service we're going to do. So it gives you every operation that you'd want to do with a bucket, and that means copying files, creating actual buckets, deleting buckets and objects or files on your bucket. So if you do S3 LS, for example, you can list all your buckets and see them there, but we're more interested in AWS S3 API, and then we're gonna do list buckets. And so same functionality, but it comes in JSON. So if you think about a lot of the APIs, regardless of service, whether it's Lambda, EC2, Kubernetes, S3, they have a REST-based API, and a lot of these CLIs and the SDKs, the Python, the JavaScript, whatever, they talk in JSON. You send JSON, you get JSON back. If you're in Python, you speak in dictionaries, you get dictionaries back. In JavaScript, a little bit of both <laughs> for JSON and objects is parsing. So think in JSON when you're interfacing with these APIs. And so this JSON that we get back, if you're using SDK, will be parsed in Python. You have to use something like JQ if you're on the shell, and that's okay, but I just wanted to point out that that's a very common language. So when you learn it once, it's pretty much just different JSON per service. And so we can see our buckets here. Let's hit Q to get out of this. We're gonna do one called list objects. And again, if you don't memorize this stuff, don't stress it. Just live on this page. So we'll do list objects V2. Now it wants a bucket. So we'll do bucket, and if you're curious about the parameters, you just scroll down a bit. You can see that the only one required is bucket. The rest are options. We'll do our my NASA bucket. And you can see we just have one file on our bucket, our Elm ping, and it comes in the contents. So that's how you use the AWS CLI to interface with your account and your buckets, list your buckets, see objects on your bucket. You can upload things as well. But we're going to do the SDK for that because coding is more fun.